Hello, friends. I am coming to you fresh-faced on the morning of the 9th of August. Here's the fucking thing. Um, yesterday was my birthday. And the day before that was my co-worker's birthday. And two days before that was a friend's birthday. Um, and in a couple of days it's another friend's birthday. Um, so I haven't read anything this week since I have nothing prepared. Um, I'm gonna give you a look forward, a glance into the future of what may possibly happen. I'm gonna eat some birthday cake for breakfast and talk about what may or may not happen on this channel in the month of August. Um, disclaimer. This is not an official TBR, because if any of you know me, you know that I don't do TBRs because I cannot stick to a committed list. I will get distracted, I will read other things. So, um, none of this is a promise. Do not hold me to any of these things. This is just what I am currently considering reading. Maybe, possibly. Mm. Huge shout out to Claire and Estefi and Kelsey for FaceTiming me on my birthday and making me very happy. Um, I love you, dear friend. Huge thank you to Miriam, um, one of my dear friends and followers, who sent me a copy of A Home at the End of the World by Michael Cunningham for my birthday. I can't wait to read this. I'm so excited. Um... Also, huge thank you to a dear friend of mine, Hugo, at Scientist Reading World. Um, I have not received your birthday package in the mail yet because the U.S. the U.S. Postal Service is slow. Um, but you told me that it's coming, and I'm very excited to see it. So I'll do like an actual official like birthday like unboxing later. Um, and the, um, that'll be, like, another video, um, because I also have, like, I know that my family sent me a couple of books in the mail that, I like, haven't come yet and stuff like that, but, um, I just wanted to say thank you, um, and I love all of you and I appreciate you and you make the internet a very happy place for me. Um, also huge thank you to my lovely roommates who bought me a cake and surprised me and took me to IHOP after I went to full class. Um, also, my roommate and her boyfriend got me this shirt at an antique market that I'm wearing right now, and it's really fucking cute. On the front, it says, so many books, so little time, which is very true. And then, oh no, I don't know how to do this. I don't know if you can see that. The back has a Siamese cat on it. It's basically Stormy on a shirt. It makes me so happy. So yeah, this is my my comfy my other uh, comfy sweater that I'm excited to read a lot in. Let's talk about what I'm probably maybe potentially going to read this month. No po no promises. Don't hold me to it. So I'm making I'm making my birthday month about like finishing shit that I started a while ago because I'm really bad about starting things and not finishing them, i.e. series is, um, and or books that I promised people I would read and then just didn't. Uh, potential contenders for this. A couple of months ago, um, the Buy Book Club read an absolutely remarkable thing by Hank Green, um, and it was fucking amazing and I loved it. Um, so I bought the sequel, um, a beautifully foolish endeavor by Hank Green. Um, I'm really fucking excited to read this. Um, hoping to do it this month at some point. So, um, yeah, but no promises. Um, this will get read at before November. <laughs> that's, that's what we're doing. Can't wait to, can't wait to venture back into the world of the Carls. Another one I'm super excited for. Um, at the beginning of the Buy Book Club, um, like a f the, I think it was our December one, actually. Um, we read The Gentleman's Guide to um, Vice and Virtue, and I absolutely loved that world, so I picked up the sequel called A Lady's Guide to Mischief and Mayhem. Um, I'm so excited to read this, because um, I just love all of the characters in this world, and it's going to make me so happy, and I just I can't wait to read it. Um, so yeah, that's hopefully this month or next month, around there, somewhere, soon. Um, soon. This is that's what this video is, is this is what I want to get done for, like, look the rest of the year, I think. <laughs> we'll see. In the world of nonfiction, a few months ago, um, my dear friend Will, um, loaned me the White Album, which is, uh, a memoir by Joan Didion, um, and I 
am super fucking excited to read this because it's like very much like about LA and things like that. And I really don't know that much about Joan Didion, but I'm really excited to read this book. Um, but I was like, yeah, I'll read it next when he gave it to me. And I sure didn't. Um, it's still here. Um, I will get to it soon. I'm going to try and prioritize this one because um, he's moving. <laughs> so I got to give this back to him. <laughs> Speaking of Will, um, a while back we did like a trip to San Francisco and went to the bookstores, um, and it was really cute and fun. Um, and I picked up The Sluts by Dennis Cooper, um, and I said I was gonna read it. And I read like the first couple of chapters, and I really loved it, but then I got distracted because, um, um, Mr. Impossible was released on, it was the release date of Mr. Impossible, and I was like, that is what I want to read. <laughs> so I stopped and read this, read that instead of this. Um, but this wasn't a DNF because it was bad. It was just a DNF because I uh, ha cannot focus on anything. Um, I'm not going to show the next ones because um, they're in a box on the other side of my bookshelf and they're really fucking heavy. A while back, Mare from Mare Reads and I um, did a buddy read with a bunch of people in the Discord. Um, of the selection series by Kia Cass, um, and it was fucking hilarious, and I enjoyed it way more than I expected to. Um, but we read the first three, um, or I read the first. I think people, people continued to do it, um, but I read the first three because that's like the selection series. Um, are those three, and then the last two were more like a follow up. They're kind of like a uh, like a, a second series almost, so I didn't read those yet. Um I'm going to read those soon because just cuz I need something lighthearted to laugh at. I'm so excited. Um but I I need those too for sure. What I'm working on right now, um I am gearing up for the release of um Lord of Eternal Light by Ben Alderson because um, Beauty and the Beast retelling with a witch and a vampire. So um, and it's gay. So I just yeah have to. Um, so I'm binging all the rest of the Ben Alderson books because um, I read Lost Mage and fucking loved it, and then bought all the rest of them. <laughs> so um, I've started. Cloaked in shadow at the beginning of this week and then just didn't have time to read anything But I'm gonna do this series um, And that should be I should be done with that in time for the release of Lord of Eternal Light And I'm gonna read Lord of Eternal Light so fast I, I that is I when that comes out I am dropping everything that all plans will be canceled. It's fine. Um, oh, another sequel that I'm really excited to. I do not have the physical copy of it yet, um, but The Ray Bearer by Jordan Nifueco. Um, I was the first reading vlog I think I ever did on this channel, if I remember right, um, and the first arc that I ever received. But anyway, uh, the sequel, The Redemptor, is coming out um, halfway through the month of August, um, and I pre-ordered that trip months ago. Um, so I did. Oh my god, you guys, like, this world is so cool when I tell you. It's... Mm, it's so brilliant. It's so just brilliant and smart and so well crafted. And I have been missing this world so much. So I'm very excited to um, continue the story there and keep, you know, just like learn more about like what's going on. Cause that ending was crazy. Oh my God. That's like definitely gonna be enough to tide me over for like August and probably September. Cause I've also got the Stephen King book club um, is happening. Um, the Constant Readers Club. Um, that's definitely happening. Um, and I've committed to some things for that. And then the Buy Book Club. Um, I will not tell you what the Buy Book Club is reading because we have a live stream um, actually pretty soon after I'm done filming this video in which we will announce that. Um, and <laughs> that tends to be Kelsey and Emily's like gig is planning things. And I'm just like, solid. I will read it. I will make the thumbnail. I will be there for the live stream. <laughs> Um, that's just what we do. Oh, I'm also gonna read more Wonder Woman comics. Um, I haven't reviewed a Wonder Woman comic book in a very long time, so I'm gonna do that soon. Um, probably in August, because it's my birthday month. Um, and I have this one that, um, I have not read all of this arc yet, but I picked this up a while ago. Um, I haven't read this full storyline yet, and I'm ready for it, because I have to gear up, because 
um, I have to gear up for eventually reading the, um, the Future State Wonder Woman storyline in which we get Yara Flora, um, who is the new Wonder Girl, who is, um, an Amazon from, like, the Amazon, like, like, the region of the world, the Amazon, not the island of the Amazons, and we get all that mythology, and, oh, it's gonna be, I'm so excited. I am so, so excited. I, you got Yara is so cool. Like, this is such a cool character. Um, so I'm very excited for that. So whenever that trade paperback is, um, in my hands, let me tell you what I'm reading that and reviewing it because I'm so excited. Um, anyway, I guess I'll see you on Friday for whatever book I read first. Um, watch that's like none of these. <laughs> it's no nothing that I mentioned here. It's just completely different. None of these books get read. Um, yeah, this has been the Bye Book Boy. Um, decaffeinated and a little bit chill. Um, I am going to go drink a lot of caffeine um, and get ready for a live stream. So if you enjoyed this video, thanks for sticking around and helping out. Um, if you want more chaotic bisexual content, make sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you can get my videos whenever I decide to post them. This has been the Bye Book Boy, and I am saying bye.